Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the covariance and the correlation between two random variables. So let's begin with an example and imagine that we have two random variables, one depicting the height of a population in centimeters and the other depicting the weight of that population in kilograms. If we were to plot these two random variables, we would obtain the following figure. As you can see, there is some sort of positive relationship between those two variables, because as the height increases, the weight tends to increase as well. However, if you were to replace the height with the number of hours per week a person exercises, we would notice that the relationship between those two variables would be negative, since as the number of exercised hours increases, the weight decreases. The way we measure this in mathematical terms is through something called the covariance between random variable x and random variable y, and that's defined as being equal to the expected value of x minus the expected value of x, multiplied by y minus the expected value of y. And let's think about the intuition behind this formula a bit, and let's assume first that we expect x to be greater than its expected value or mean for this study case. If that happens, and we also expect y to be greater than its mean, then we have a positive covariance. On the other hand, if we expect y to be less than its mean, then we would get a negative covariance. Then, if we assume that we expect x to be less than its mean, and y to be greater than its mean, then we would end up again with a negative covariance. Finally, if we expect both x and y to be less than their mean, because we have a negative sign on both parentheses, we would end up with a positive covariance. However, although the covariance can indicate the kind of relationship two random variables may have, it can tell us how strong that relationship is. For instance, in the first example, if we were to measure the weight in grams instead of kilograms, we would obtain a covariance that is a thousand times larger. So does this mean that the relationship between those two variables is a thousand times stronger? Well, the answer is simply no, because the covariance gets influenced by the scale of each variable. What we do instead to measure the strength of the relationship between two random variables is to calculate the correlation, which is defined as the covariance, divided by the square root of the variance of the first random variable, multiplied by the variance of the second random variable. What happens if we do that is that each random variable gets standardized so that the final correlation score doesn't get influenced by their scale. Thus, the correlation varies between minus 1 and plus 1, plus 1 meaning that the two variables have a perfect positive relationship, while a value of minus 1 would mean that the two variables would have a perfect negative relationship. And the closer the correlation is to either of those two values, the stronger the relationship between our two random variables would be. And the closer the correlation is to 0, the weaker the relationship between those two random variables will be. For instance, if we were to compare the correlation we get when we use the weights in kilograms or in grams, we would observe that we get the same score because the correlation is not affected by the scale. Also, the two variables have quite a strong positive relationship of 0.922, being close to 1. On the other hand, if we measure the correlation between the weights and the number of hours that person works out, then we would get quite a strong negative correlation, the result being close to minus 1. Finally, let's measure the covariance and the correlation between two random variables that have mostly nothing in common. Let's say that the temperature outside and the height of a person. If we do that, we would get a covariance of minus 5.5, which would tell us that we have a negative relationship between those two random variables, but again, it tells us nothing about the magnitude of that relationship. And if you want to measure that, we would look at the correlation, which would be equal to minus 0.04, a value that is close to zero. So we can conclude that there is mostly no relationship between those two random variables. And that's basically what the covariance and the correlation try to tell us about the relationship between two random variables. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. Please hit the like button if you did, share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to be up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.